That's that's under, that's that's wonderful. As I said, I'm uh, powerful Steve, the King of Inspiration, and I just want to share a brief story with you before I continue. I'm going to be reading uh, the bio, and then we're going to get those uh, six individuals to come up and uh, give two minutes of their story. Um, I was driving in my car one day. I have eight children, and at that particular time, I had three of my kids in the back of the van, and my niece. She was sitting beside me. I'm sorry about that. I remember exactly where it was. It was at Dixie Road in Howden. And the interesting thing is, as I drove through the intersection, my mouth opened and said, how do you build a masterpiece? And so now, uh, Reverend Ajay, can you stand up for one second? Stacey Ann, can you stand up for a second? So as I said, you are a masterpiece and you are a masterpiece. And each and every one of us in this room is a masterpiece. But when we connect and meet people, we tend to keep it on the linear, meaning the level in which you connect it. Uh, you, you make a phone call and an Uber comes and he's to take you to A to B and he's your Uber driver. But if you spend some time and talk to the Uber driver, then you might find out that there are other layers that you can actually connect with him beyond him just coming to pick you up. That's what networking is all about. So Stacey Ann, she came and she's running for, for city council for wards one and five. And so Reverend Ajay, she's very politically uh, connected and so she's willing to support and so forth. But then she might find out that she's a mother of children and she does this and she does that. And so long after the campaign is finished, they're gonna stay connected and I want you to do that. <laughs> they're gonna stay connected because that's what happens when you meet somebody and you say, hey, there's just more than just her being a politician, you stay connected. And so I meet Reverend Ajay, I've known her now for, gosh, five, six, seven years. So nonetheless, we have connected. And as you could see, she called me up and said, Steve, I need your skills. I need you to come and do something for me. So I'm here. So now we're connected. So what you're looking at now is another masterpiece. So when you think about it now, who is to connect here? Who is to connect there? Who is to connect there? And we create a masterpiece. So how do you build a masterpiece? You go to the creator. You go to the master that has all the pieces. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay, so I want to be able to honor my beloved sister here. Reverend Ajay Blessings, uh, Her Excellency Reverend a Blessings of Jay is the founder and chief executive director of Glorious Women of Wonders, Inc. And just hold your applause, guys, until I, I finish this. Uh, worldwide. So the organization is worldwide. A registered charitable organization in Canada and Africa. In 2020, Reverend Blessings became a diplomat when she was certified as a peace ambassador to the United Nation. Yeah. We got the same credentials. Right. Reverend Blessings is a philanthropist, advocate, a humanitarian ambassador who has consistently consistently served and supported the vulnerable population on a national and international level for more than 15 years. Her goal is to share God's love and compassion to humanity, to inspire people of all ethnicity, to become leaders and agents of change in their communities while mobilizing groups of people for charitable work. She organizes and manages various community programs, including Senior Smile Care, Youth for Greatness, Woman Voices TV, Global Connect, and uh, Blessed Nation sorry, Blessed Mission Foundation outreach to the less fortunate population worldwide. As COVID-19 pandemic lingers, Reverend Blessings organization is engaged in providing emergency community relief program that is helping families enhance their uh, grocery needs. She also collaborates with other 
local organizations to organize food and clothes campaign, which are donated to local charity organizations like Knight's Table, Salvation Army, Regeneration Service, and Lewis Outreach Center. Is that Louise? Louise? Louis, yeah. It's Louis? Mm -hmm. Okay, Louis. <laughs> Louise, Louis. Okay. Reverend Blessings is an active Canadian citizen and a Brampton resident who participates in various community empowerment activities, including serving as campaign volunteer, a member of the Black African and Caribbean Adv Advisory. Advisory. Council, a founding member of the Immigrant Women in Business Toronto and Rotary Club of Brampton West. Reverend Blessings is an exceptional leader, a virtuous woman, counselor, mentor, missionary, and evangelist who has traveled around the globe to conduct ev evangelistic revival meetings. Her compassion and act of goodwill for humanitarian purposes has changed many lives. She is a mother of four and has been uh, married uh, to Mr. Say his name. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> For 24 years. <laughs> Best quote. Uh, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, strength, mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. That's found in the good book, Luke 10, verse 27. Her recognition and awards in 2020 International Women's Day Community Development Award by the IWAA. Also in 2020, humanitarian, uh, is that a Vigo? Vigo, yeah, Vigo, yeah, yeah. Vigo Award International in 2019. She got uh, uh, four awards in 2019. Uh, the 100 Black Women to Watch in Canada Award, Commitment and Dedication in Community Service and Program Initiative Award by Brampton uh, City uh, Mayor Patrick Brown, Woman Achievement Award, the GTA Northwest Community Health Service Inc. Canada on International Women's Day, and the last one in 2019, the City of Brampton Citizenship Award award for 10 years of long-time community service by the City of Brampton, Ontario, Canada. In 2017, award Mission and Leadership Award for Glorious Woman of Wonders Excellence Achievement. And in 2011, Epitone of the Virtuous Woman Award by Glorious Woman of Wonders. Certificates of recognition, we have six of those. The City of Brampton, the former mayor, Susan Fennell, who we both know very well. The City of Brampton, former mayor, Linda Jeffries, who I did vote for. The City of Brampton, Mayor Patrick Brown, who I campaigned for. The former Brampton West uh, Member of Parliament, Mr. Kyle Seebeck. Uh, Brampton West Member of Parliament, Kamal... Uh, Kara, and the, the last one is the City of Brampton, Councillor Doug Willens. Now you can put your hands together to this amazing <laughs> woman of God.